It did. Well, he, well, he kind of pulled that one a little bit, I think, but it did break a little bit. Did, uh, did you think he'd come off of that at all? He might have. Uh, couldn't tell uh, too much from this side, but he looked as if he yanked it just a little bit. <laughs> sure and uh, Lee never does that. Of course, that's kind of unusual for him. He's a marvelous putter, and uh, after two holes of play, Boris, with his birdie on the second hole, took the lead over Lee Trevino and Frank Beer. The third hole is a fine three par, and incidentally, the first chance for the $10,000 hole-in-one prize money. Incidentally, we'll be playing under the rules of the Mexican Golf Association, which are identical to the rules of the USGA. Julius Boris, with a seven iron out on the tee, pulls it slightly to the left of the flag. It's going to catch the left part of the green, hits the soft turf, and stops almost immediately. Lee Trevino, uh, also with a seven iron, Trevino's seven iron is going to land almost on Boris's ball, both about on the same line, just past the pin and on the left side of the green. Frank Beard, defending champion on Shell's wonderful world of golf with a seven iron, uh, starts his to the right a little bit more. It's going to uh, hang out on the right side, and uh, Frank apparently came off of that one slightly, and he is on the extreme right side of the green, and Boris and Trevino on the left. The boys then two-putted for their pars, and there was no change in the match. There's a narrow creek crossing the fairway in front of the tee, but the challenge on the 363-yard par-4 fourth hole is a very large tree standing in the center of the fairway, about 200 yards from the tee. If the players drive to either side, they could be in the woods with no shot to the green. Down the center, they must carry the tree. Boris drove beyond the tree to the right about 250 yards. Trevino's drive also carried over the tree, about 245 yards in the center of the fairway. Frank Beard's drive was dead center, but it stayed low, hit the tree, bounced off to the left, and fortunately remained on the fairway. Frank was away, and he selected a wedge for his second shot. Easy shot to the green, wide open, big green, no traps, right at the flag. Nice shot by Frank. It's going to carry just about then high. And what a shot by Frank. Boy, he got a good break off the tee and took advantage of it. His ball uh, lit to the left of the pin and spun off to the right. And uh, went right at the flag, and he's only about a foot away. Well, Lee is out in the front of the green, in the center of the fairway, with just a half wedge. Short backswing, going to carry it a little far. It's going to land in the back side of the green. It should stop. No, it doesn't. It hits the soft green, but spins on out to about four feet off the clip portion of the green in the frog hair. Julius Boris out on the right side of the fairway, also with a short wedge shot. Here's Jay. Very quick, this man here. Long, low, smooth backswing. is going to land on the front side of the green. It's not going very far after it hits, and it doesn't. And he left himself a long putt. Lee Trevino over the green with his second shot. Puts it back. It's going to be short. It uh, hits the frog hair and slows it down. And he has just about a five-footer for his par four. Boris, about 22 feet out. His feet close together, knees touching one another. Strong off to the right. And Jay, always a bold putter, runs it past about three feet. The winner of today's match will receive $7,000 in advance to the semifinals with second prize money of 5,000 and third, 3,000. Here's Trevino for his par, about five feet out. It's almost a blade putter he's using. Just a little, uh oh, uh oh. It seemed to uh, jump as uh, Lee hit it, and uh, it's amazing the way this golf uh, changes. You see Trevino there, one of the finest putters that we have on the tour, and he's missed uh, a couple of short ones, the first four holes. Boris has a putt about a foot closer than Trevino's, same line. He'll play the inside right lip of the cup, keep it in the hole, and that's where he put it. So Jay gets his par. Frank Beard could pull even with Boris if he makes this. Trevino dropped back to one over par. Beard and uh, Boris if Beard holds this, we'll be one under. So Frank Beard...